This video is brought to you by Stockagogo.com, Stock Photos. Playhouse Disney. Can you figure out what show is up next? Here's a hint. He likes to play in the Hundred Acre Wood. Who do you think it is? Pooh, he's so cuddly. You got it. Next up is the Book of Pooh here inside Playhouse Disney. Hi there. You're invited to go online with Roly Poly Oli. Have fun with your robot friend at PlayhouseDisney.com. Why did the girl throw her clock out the window? She wanted to see time fly. Why did the turkey cross the road? To prove that he wasn't chicken. What do you call a fly without wings? A walk. What are two things you can't have for breakfast? Lunch and dinner. What's the best time to go to the dentist? At tooth hurting. That's the best time because your tooth hurts. You get it? Like 30 minutes after 2 o'clock? So that's the best time to go to the dentist. Okay, where are my Bear in the Big Blue House kids? And my Roly Poly Oli crew? PB and J Otter Team. Yeehaw! How about our out of the box group? Let the play begin! Imagine if you could learn and play every day with friends like Bear, Oli, PB and J Otter, Tony and Viv, Pooh, and Ariel too. You can inside. Playhouse Where learning is powered by imagination. Here's a song from Bear in the Big Blue House. Baby. When you're by yourself, you can do anything. Where would you be without friends? Sing along with Bear in the Big Blue House every day inside Playhouse Disney. Playhouse Disney presents... Signal Time! Hi there, I'm Steve. As you can see, everybody is working so hard here. Bria, Janelle, you gotta show us your stars. Well, let's see. I don't know about that. You know what, though? Your stars just reminded me. Of a story! That's right. It's called The Golden Windows. And it goes a little something like this. There was a little girl named Sue who lived with her family in a big brown building in the city. From her window, she could see a faraway building that during the day looked like any other. But every night, Sue waited for the sunset when the building's windows turned to gold and diamonds. And Sue wished that she lived in a building as wonderful as that. One day, she set off down the street to see the windows up close. But when she got there, the windows she saw were made of ordinary glass. Just then, a little girl came out of the building. And Sue asked her if she knew where the wonderful building with windows of gold and diamonds had gone. The little girl smiled, for she knew the building well. She turned Sue around just as the sun was setting and pointed to a building far away with shimmering, glimmering windows. When Sue saw it, she gasped, for the building she was looking at was hers. And so as night fell, Sue happily hurried home to her own beautiful building with windows of gold and diamonds and the lucky family that lived there. So in the end, Sue realized that both buildings were pretty. It was just how you looked at them. And you know what? Looking at your stars, I think they're both pretty, too. Really? Sure I do. Me, too. All right. Hey, we'll see you next Circle Time inside Playhouse Disney. Bye-bye!